Hi, I'm Derek and welcome to another lesson of my Jazz Drumming for Beginners course. And this is what you will learn today. So in the last videos I've showed you some ideas how to comp with quarter notes. And today we are starting with offbeats. And this is my approach. You know from my last videos that I most of the time start with quarter notes on the right cymbal. And in this lesson it's the same, so we are starting with quarter notes. So you play with the right hand steady consistent quarter notes and then you're playing with your right hand on the snare drum the third triplet. So it's like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And now with the sound of the cymbal and the snare drum. Make sure you're counting out loud the triplets to find the right position for the last triplet. That you really count like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And also again here, start very slowly. And now we are adding to the right cymbal and the snare drum both feet. And again in the bass drum we are playing the light or feathering quarter note bass drum and the hi-hat on two and four. And this is how it sounds like. Let's speed it up a little bit. So for me, if you play this rhythm faster, I would recommend to play the snare drum softer. So it sounds like this. because it doesn't sound so good if you play the snare drum louder. I will demonstrate how it sounds when the snare drum is too loud. Sounds like this, so don't do this. And if you have problems to count the triplets so fast, like in this tempo, like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, da, 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 it's very fast, then try to find some other words. Like for me in German, I count like einerlei, zweierlei, dreierlei, viererlei, einerlei, zweierlei, dreierlei, viererlei. That's much more easy for me to count like this. Or you set your metronome on all three triplets and let the metronome do the work for you in the beginning. Okay, but it's very important that you build your own internal, like, yeah, like, uh, like a grid, and then you can put the notes or the beats 
on this grid. Let's move on to the jazz ride cymbal pattern. And this is how I would recommend to start with the jazz ride cymbal patterns with the offbeats. So in the jazz ride cymbal pattern, you are already playing the third triplet of beat two and the third triplet of beat four. And I usually start playing the third triplet of beat one and the third triplet of beat three. That you have all off beats in the whole bar or the whole pattern. Sounds like this. Then the next step would be to play the jazz ride cymbal pattern of beats on two and four in unison with your left hand on the snare drum. And this is what it sounds like. And when you feel comfortable with both patterns, combine them and then you play all four of beats with the jazz ride cymbal pattern. This is what it sounds like. Now it's time to play different variations of the offbeats. For example, a very systematically approach would be to play the first offbeat, then only the second, then the third, and then the offbeat of beat number four. Then you play one and two, one and three, one and four, and so on and on. And after a while, you feel so comfortable with all offbeat positions that you can start to improvise. And this is, again, very important to improvise. And uh, I will close this video playing a short improvisation with the left hand on the snare drum playing off beats with the jazz right cymbal playing the jazz right cymbal pattern. Okay, hope you liked it today. See you next time. Goodbye.